Hi, it's Emily. I'm here doing a Boss Mom interview in sunny Ottawa. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I am very excited that it's sunny in Ottawa. <laughs> um, with Courtney from Eco Accoutrements. And we're going to spend a couple minutes chatting about her and her business. So tell us a little bit about you, your family, your business. Yeah, so uh, we're based out of Brockville, Ontario. And um, we make handmade cloth diapers and growth meat clothing. Kind of have an aim to offer greener options for pretty much every step of your day. So we have a litterless lunch line and then our clothing focuses on reducing textile waste. Uh, and then of course cloth diapers, that's pretty obvious how it reduces waste. Um, we started out with just cloth diapers almost seven years ago. Um, we got into that because we were having our second child and I decided to make some diapers for us and then it like spiraled into what it is today. Um, and we have two kids, our son is nine and our daughter will be six in August. So Very cool. So you're out of that, like you're into the school age where you've got some time to... We are unschoolers now. so I do have not have time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, they're home with us all the time, uh, but they're really great. Like they're they're usually busy, um, and actually I find it works better um, because instead of like being in your flow and then being like ah I have you know pick up or drop off or whatever, we can make the day work completely around what we're doing. So it works out really well. Very cool. So how do you juggle like just having two kids home at all the time with trying to grow and run your own business especially I mean it's been seven years yeah so it can be tricky um, uh, my mom works for me now which has oh, been awesome. insanely helpful it's picked up our production like a lot uh, and then some people choose to work in an office space that's completely separate to shut the door and have like their Zen this is work right but that doesn't really work with kids home all the time like they're gonna be murdering each other <laughs> in the living room and you can't see what's happening so we chose to kind of go the polar opposite of the typical work at home mom situation. I work in the dead center of the house, uh, which can be chaotic because there's like fabric, like you come in our house and it's just like fabric on every wall and sewing machines and all this stuff, but it works better for us because I can see them in almost every room. So it's what would be our dining room is now that our dining room is in the second living room, which is kind of... It works better for us. Oh, it's it's cool. unorthodox, but it works. <laughs> organized chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Light so, on the organized. <laughs> hey, that's how I run my life. It's, I know what's going on. It's a creative on, but thing. Yeah. It's, it's common. So, seven years. So, what's your, like, you've obviously, you've been through the ringer. You've learned what works, what doesn't work. Obviously, like you said, working out of the center of the house. Yes. So what's some advice you would pass on to another mom that's trying to start or grow a business? So uh, it can be great to look up to other people, like other successful businesses and stuff, but just don't try and emulate them. Like you need to be you. Like from day one, don't waste time being a little bit of everything or being a little bit of everyone. Sit down and have like a clear brand image. Write down a list of who you think your, your like, target market is what kind of person are you selling to have a clear image of who that person is in your head and then write down clear ideas of what you want to look like if you have a clear brand aesthetic from day one you'll save so much time because you can spend three or four years floundering around not really knowing what you're doing still making money but not not making a brand yep um, and then if you can just set aside the time to make a brand from day one it'll sell itself and where do you see your next growth steps in the next year or two years? So our next growth step is actually stocking with a store local to us called Tulip Kids in Brockville and that actually starts like literally after yeah. this show. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> so that's our that's our next big step. So it's gonna be nice. That's very cool. And Brockville's such a cool little city. Like yeah, it's, it's growing cool really city. fast and it's nice to be on the water. It's so nice. Oh yes, I wish I was not today. <laughs> Um, awesome. Well, no, thank you so much for taking the time to sit and chat with us. We're going to post all of your wonderful social media handles, your website, so the people, whether they want to chat business, they want to chat like your schooling mm -hmm. stuff, because I mean, there's lots of people looking for alternative options yes. or just buy your fabulous products. <laughs> <laughs> they can now connect with you. Awesome. Thank you.